All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo uh, Yoga C940-14IIL. Model name is 81Q9. All right, so I couldn't find a good video showing how to open this one up, so hopefully this will help a lot of you guys out. All right, you're gonna need a PH0 or JIS0 screwdriver, as well as a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. And I'm not sure if inside, because I didn't try taking out all the screws, but we might need a JIS1 or PH1 screwdriver as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to take this apart. Give me a second. Okay, so one thing to take note of, there are screws hidden underneath this uh, rubber uh, foot here. Um, this rubber foot is pretty difficult to take out. There's a strong adhesive, but basically we're just going to peel this up, okay? Just like this. Okay, you wanna be careful, slowly, carefully peel this up. There are also clips um, that somewhat hold it in place, um, but it's more to kind of keep it aligned, okay? So as you can see, I'm just, I lifted this up and I'm just running my fingernail under here, slowly pulling it up as I go. Um, if it gets stuck, then we'll wanna continue from the other side, but see here okay so it's getting stuck there so let's go ahead and work on this side now same thing just peel it up okay again it could be pretty tough okay and we're just going to continue going along here so let me show you what this looks like okay this i don't know this part's stuck here there we go okay this one actually bent a little bit as you can see but this is what it looks like you can see there's these clips here underneath and there's also a double stick adhesive all the way along you can see all these clips and these little protruding round things to hold it into place, okay? Try and keep the adhesive um, in the right way. There we go. Okay, anyways, once you remove that, um, you'll see here there are some screws hidden underneath. Let me zoom in. And these are PH1 or JS1 screws. There's only three of them, okay? Um, they are a little bit tricky to get out if the adhesive is kind of getting in the way. So you do want to peel this up a little bit. Not all of this adhesive is necessary. So you can peel it up and then you can um, kind of just fold it out of the way. Or if you want, you can even just cut the adhesive because you don't, again, you don't really need all this adhesive. All right, so we're going to remove this. Again, it's a PH1 or JS1 screw. Um, I am using a JS1 screwdriver and I want to keep all the screws in order. To do that, I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So there's three here, so I'll put those three in a pattern like that. All right, and, and that way I can know exactly where each screw came from. Even though these, these three screws are like the same thing, I like to put the same screw back where I got it and not move them around, all right? Anyways, hopefully this video helps you guys out. If it does, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right. Anyways, we're going to get this third screw out. Okay. Now that we got those three out, let's zoom back out here. We're going to now remove the T5 or Torx 5 screws. There are only four of these, so yep, not too many. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. And we'll remove all four from each corner. Okay, so we'll get those. Again, keep the screws in order. Okay, also there is a battery reset button here. So there's a little hole that if you need to reset the battery for some reason, if your computer's not turning on or having some weird issues, you can try using a bent out um, paper clip or a needle or something and press and hold that for about 15 seconds. I think you can also use a SIM card ejector tool. All right, anyways, now that we got all those screws out, um, let's go ahead and open this. It helps to use a suction cup, but you kind of don't really need one, I think. Let's see, can we lift from here? If you can get in the little groove back here, okay? You can see there's kind of a groove. It kind of sits uh, in there, but I use my fingernail in the metal part here and then I can pull that away just enough to get underneath all right once you get underneath there you can kind of flex it inward so kind of bend it in like that and then you can see it comes out pretty easily so there we go we got this bottom cover off this computer got liquid damage in it so um yeah I'm gonna have to see I don't I'm not gonna be able to repair that most likely but we'll see I have someone I work with that might be able to help 
All right. Anyways, there's this little rubber piece here um, that's holding the battery in place. So we're going to get that out. Be careful. There are cables there. You don't want to accidentally damage that. Um, so you just kind of grab this and flip it up out of the way. Okay. So it comes out just like that. You can see there's the adhesive on it. And then there's four PH1 or JS1 screws that we're going to have to remove, all right, if we're if you're taking out the battery. Again, keep the screws in order. Get that out, this out. Okay, and then we got two more, one here and one here. Okay, that one and this one. All right, now that we got all four battery screws out, we can go ahead and remove the battery. The battery model number is right here, in case you need it, is L18C4PH0, all right, L18C4PH0. Okay, anyways, we're gonna remove the battery, and the way you do that, you just get underneath. I use this little tab that we just took the screw out of, and then I get my finger underneath here, all right, to help grab the connector. And then from the top, let me see if I can zoom in and make this easier to see. Okay, we're just gonna kind of wiggle this connector. So grab that, kind of wiggle it side to side a little bit from both top and bottom. Okay, and you should be able to eventually get this out. There you go, just like that. Okay, and there we go. Now we'll zoom out, but there we go. We got the battery disconnected. We'll set this aside. Okay, inside here you can see the trackpad or touchpad cable. These have little flip latches that you flip up and then you can pull the cable out. I'm going to leave it as is because um, I don't want to mess around with it too much. You got the keyboard connector here, keyboard backlight connector, fingerprint sensor uh, connector here. Again, all of these have these little flip latches. You can actually see uh, where these little tabs, you can flip them up just like that. And then it makes it easy to pull the cables out. All right, there's a little um, uh, tamper seal there so Lenovo will know if you take the motherboard out. Wireless card is soldered to the motherboard. Wireless antenna is here. You pull them up by going from the tails and then you can kind of pull them up like that. If you want to see I have videos showing that on a lot of different models. Here's a closer look of the battery kind of reset button that you can access from the bottom cover. All right there's the um, digitizer or the stylus here. Then you've got a connector going in there for the stylus. I think that's to kind of charge it or something or actually is this for the power button oh actually that's the power button cable so power buttons here cable runs along down here goes flips over goes underneath the fan and connects right there so if this is messed up the power button won't work okay we got the fan here of course um, i'm not going to peel up all this stuff here but uh, you got all these connectors there's this little two pin cable connector which i think connects to this switch here and then you got this bigger cable going into the screen that goes underneath this flap. And I don't know if I should peel this up or not. Let's see. You got this tab here that makes it easier to peel up, I guess. I'm going to use that to kind of get this out of the way a little. And then we can go ahead and grab the foam thingy and kind of try and peel it, I guess. Huh. You can see the adhesive doesn't peel off easily from this. So... Let me see, I'm gonna have to hold this down and then help peel this a bit more. Okay, yeah, this foam doesn't stick well. Okay, or it doesn't peel off well. There you go, we got multiple connections here. Um, I'm assuming this is the fan connector, which is a type where you get underneath and then you can pop just the inside part of it out the outside edge stays in place on the motherboard um, this is very similar to macbook connectors if you want to see how to remove those all right then we got this connector here i can't really tell how this one is held in um, sometimes these connectors are like pop ones that you pop out of this slot here and other times it's one where you slide back i think this is the kind where you pop it up but they don't have a way to grab that all right anyways we're gonna put that back down can see it kind of still holds and what else we got ram i'm pretty sure is soldered to the motherboard you got another connector here going into the screen or this is where's this going i don't know where that's going uh let's see is there anything in here that might be linked i don't know huh 
I don't know where that connector is going to. Um, I don't think it's actually going into the... Yeah, I don't think it's going into the thing here. So, I don't know. And this fan, I don't even see where the connector is. So, this could possibly be a fan connector. I doubt it. Because um, the fan cables, I think, are different color. So, most likely, there's another fan connector cable underneath the motherboard. Then you got another speaker connector here. This one's also kind of a pop-up connector like the MacBooks. And it is held in with some screws here. One on each side or at each end. And let's see. And then this uh, speaker has its own cable running along. Okay, I was wrong. So this connector here is actually for the speaker, for this, this speaker here. Um, and this cable, I guess, just also goes into ends up going into the screen. So I don't know what this tiny one is for. I don't think it's for a charge port or anything. I don't know, that's strange. I don't know what that's for. If anyone knows, feel free to let us know. Um, I didn't mention this, but this is a PCIe NVMe SSD, right, M.2. One screw, it pops up at an angle, you can pull it out. So if you want to upgrade that, you can. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and put this thing back together. Uh, maybe I'll get a thumbnail here Again, sorry, this is more of a quick look inside just showing you how to get into the laptop and showing like what components I see on top But uh, Yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get this back in Okay, and then we're gonna pinch this back into place Get this all lined back up. Okay All right, we'll get these four screws back in Right, so for the most part, it looks like the screws all come out with a PH0 or JS0 screwdriver. Okay, I don't think we needed the PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, again, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, let's go ahead and get this back on. There we go, just like that. And then the bottom cover, pretty straightforward. I just get the bottom piece in first. Get this all into place. Okay, we'll get back in the... Uh, PH0 or JS0 screws first. Okay. Just like this. Alright, get the adhesive out of the way. There we go. We can now go ahead and put back the T5 or Torx 5 screws. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. And yeah, let's get these last few. And I'll show you how to put back the little bottom piece. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Good. I do here. Okay. All right. Then we just got to get the adhesive back flipped over and stuck back down. Okay. Just like that. Then we got this piece. Make sure you line it up right. Okay. Um, I don't know if it matters if you flip it over. I think the clips are, are the clips the same way? So they point to that side. Yeah, I think the clips are the same. They're uniform, but uh, yeah. Oh, actually you can't put it upside down because the rounded edge is here, okay? So if you put it upside down, then now the sharp point is on the wrong side. So make sure you put it the right way. Okay, I start with one side here, just like that. Make sure it goes in. Slowly work my way over if it gets stuck try and like maneuver push the thing over so that the clip can go in the right way 
Then we're gonna go over here, same thing. Okay, clip that in. Okay, and there we go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.